Harold Bratpack nearly cheered them up with just two minutes on the clock. Nice skill, but the final shot deflected over by former Celt Mark McNally. United remained calm at the back and in fact initiated their best attacking moves with the long ball up front by Skoldmark and the lightning pace of Shell Olofsson. The Swede regularly leaving his markers trailing, this time the cross is deflected into the path of Robbie Winters and he slams past Jonathan Gould. 1-0 United and the Ravenelli-style celebration somehow not appreciated by the home support. Olofsson's charge upfield catching Celtic off guard and Winters showing that deadly finish which is attracting the attention of several clubs. The Hoops immediately began the search for the equaliser. Stefan Mahi venturing forward to provide Simon Donnelly with a great chance but his glancing header just wide of target. Just before the break, things were getting a bit messy. Passes in. Headers out. Another pass in. Another header out. And so it continued. Until Larson created space for himself, only to nod straight into the hands of Dykstra. The second half was enthralling, not for the sensational football, but for the frantic nature of the game. Tosh McKinley provided the strikers with plenty of ammunition from the left. But Donnelly firing a blank with this one. Dykstra slightly out of position and another real chance squandered for Celtic. It was one-way traffic at this stage, but there was still no real fluency to the home side's play. A United miss kick let Larson pass wide to McKinley. A nice sweeping cross in. But Bratpack this time not able to connect in front of goal. This was obviously noted by Dr. Vengloss, who promptly substituted the player for 19 year old Mark Birchill. Despite having a crunch European tie on Wednesday night, Henrik Larsson was throwing himself into action. Superb body strength to escape four defenders, but Dykstra at the edge of the box to halt the danger. The Swedish internationalist believed he'd been impeded. No penalty but a consolation hug from the goalkeeper. United's visits to the Celtic half were few and far between, but substitute Stephen Thompson looked lively, twisting and turning well, before bringing off another terrific save from Jonathan Gould. The ball eventually scrambled away. With 59,738 supporters in the stadium and at least 99.9% .9 of them Celtic fans, the atmosphere was tense now, to say the least. Larson provided the nervous fans with a glimmer of hope, tremendous vision and an accurate through ball to Burchill on the wing. The confident youngster certainly spicing up the proceedings and forcing Dykstra to tip over the crossbar. However, with 10 minutes remaining, Celtic finally broke down the battling United defence. A terrific through ball by Larson, picked up by Burley, who gets the touch required to level the match. One each. The proverbial defence splitting pass, Burley's right foot on target, and Burchill politely escorting the ball over the line. If United were gutted by Celtic's late equaliser, then they were absolutely stunned five minutes later. Simon Donnelly controls well, before slotting through to Burchill. He's just on the park, but the angled drive was worthy of winning any match. A class finish from a player sure to feature more. 2-1 Celtic, a flattering scoreline, but it's three points for the champions.